Good morning, Texans. My name is Noah Coronado, and you're watching Texan TV. Texan teachers and students, the yearbook staff invites you to share your photos and opinions in this year's yearbook. Simply scan the QR code on your screen and choose the topic of your choice. Please read carefully as some topics are for seniors only. We got questions and you got the answers and the photos we need. Complete the Texan yearbook survey and see and read your answers in this year's yearbook. We have a team for the Fort Worth Zoo Run. It'll be Saturday, April 2nd. Everyone is welcome to join the team, kids and other adults. You do not have to work at Sam to be in this. If you are in the wellness program, the race once info is entered will be 250 points. There will be a Texan Volleyball Alumni game this March 25th. Doors open at 6 a.m. in Gym A. Make sure you come up and support your old school and new school. Tickets will be $2 and all funds will help the volleyball team program. It's time to begin voting for your 2022-2023 Student Council officers. Please use this QR code. The winner of the officer election will become your leader for next year. Voting ends on Friday, March 25th, 3 p.m. Good luck. The Feminist Club is having Spirit Week to celebrate Women's History Month. Celebrate with us by dressing up on Eve Spirit Day. There will also be trivia contests with prizes. See Mr. Pierce or Ms. Del Rio for more information. Teachers, check your district email for a gift certificate to Spring Creek Barbecue. It's worth $12 of free barbecue. Enjoy. A special thank you to Spring Creek Barbecue for doing this for our hardworking teachers. I'm uh, Miss Diana Navarro and I teach mariachi here at Sam Houston. I went to Stephen F. Austin State University in Nacogdoches, Texas. Um, I am actually from Fort Worth, Texas, so I, I'm kind of local and I uh, started a mariachi at SFA where I went to school and so I heard that they needed a new director and I kind of just found my way here and I, so far it's been great. Really, really positive. The kids here have been the most um, most part of my motivation here just because they're so ready to play and even when I don't ask them to do anything they just do everything themselves so uh, it's mostly just the kids here who have been the best part of the experience. I got into mariachi because I, I had a friend at SFA where I went to college ask me to be a singer for them because he wanted to start a mariachi because there was a huge Hispanic community in Nacogdoches but there was no mariachi in existence over there and he basically begged me because I spoke Spanish and so I just kind of joined and I, I grew to love it and we, we made the program big and I found out about the mariachi here and I just kind of showed up. <laughs> um, I just want to expand our program and make more kids more interested in mariachi for culture reasons and just so we can play bigger songs and become more popular in the area. I think my favorite moment so far has just been one day where we all got in a circle and we played one of our UIL pieces that we have that we're going to be doing this year and everyone just got in a circle we had our guitar own player in the middle and um, we were just all playing and everyone's like low focused in playing with each other and it is just really fun I really like just working with the kids working with you guys it's been a great experience you guys just make me laugh and you make everything so much more fun but I know back last year I didn't really get to talk to anybody because not many people were here. So now I'm just happy to be able to have fun with you guys and play music. Uh, I love that they love music. That's the best part. They want to play. They want to be better musicians. They want to grow. And I love that they just have the same passion of music that I have. I'm excited and nervous. <laughs> nervous, not, nervous because it's also my first UIL as a teacher but nervous because I know what happens when you hit that stage. Um, it's just, it's kind of a big moment for um, you guys, for my students. Um, but I'm really excited because I know they're gonna do fine as long as they breathe and just play and do what they've been working on for like the whole year. I know they'll be fine and I think we're gonna do great. 
Yes, always, 100%. I know that they've been working hard so much, especially this month. We've been here almost every Saturday, working hard, practicing, and they've been here three times already this week. They practice without me like, organizing practice, so I think they're gonna be just fine. Um, hi, my name is Ashanti Moreno, and you're watching Texan TV. What are your thoughts about Ukraine and Russia going into war? It's dumb. Yeah. How come? <laughs> come on, you have to have an answer. Okay, okay. Um, I just think it's dumb that they're trying to invade them for no reason. Yeah. Do you have any knowledge about the war? No. Do you think it's going to die anytime soon, like the war itself? Probably. I feel like over time it'll probably die out, but I don't know. Do you feel bad for them? Yeah, I do. Um, I'm not actually, I don't actually know a lot about it. Um, it's all over the place and uh, we, get, we discussed this in class, but like we talk about all these things, but we also have problems within the U.S. that are not being addressed. And I think we should also focus on that more. Okay, so you're saying focus here instead of over there? I mean, what are we doing over there anyways? That's true. I, was, I said the same thing all the time. I don't. I don't know. But do you think it's gonna die anytime soon? Um, I I hope that everything goes well, and that Putin stops, and that I, that's all I know. That's all I know. I wasn't Putin crying because like Ukraine is winning or something like that. Yeah, but do you think it's in, the war is gonna die anytime soon? I must say like maybe by next month it should be like low, low, not over, but low. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's funny when you do that because yeah, I can't take this. <laughs> I'm Ashanti Moreno, and you've been watching Texan TV. Each teacher was provided raffle tickets to distribute to students when you catch a student being kind. As we promote kindness among students to students, students to staff, and staff to staff, interactions use this as an opportunity to educate our students on how kindness can change a person, situation, and community. Please pick up your raffle tickets which were placed in your Sam Houston High School employee mailbox. When you observe random kindness of students by students in your classroom hallways or common areas, Please physically give them a ticket as a sign of recognition. These tickets will be used to retrieve special gifts, celebration opportunities, and participation in other raffle drawing for prizes. Jordan, 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 Kobe. Today we're going to do a lot of work. Thank you, Wildsmart. You're such a gentleman. I appreciate you. The PBIS team in Sam Houston would like you to know that these scenarios are happening all over campus every day. If you catch a student being kind, please let them know you appreciate their kindness and give them a kindness raffle ticket. They look like this and they're in your box. Tickets go in the box on the front counter at the principal's office. Please remember there are no strangers in the halls of Sam Houston and always choose kindness. Go Texans! Well Texans, that's all we have for today. My name is Noel Coronado and you're watching Texan TV.